New advanced female humanoid robot just leaked. Today, contact, whether remote or not, is more accessible than ever. The last few years have seen millions of us swiping right on apps like Tinder or Grindr as technology takes the shame away from needing or wanting a hookup. And it will come as no surprise that, thanks to recent rigid lockdowns and social isolation, more and more tech is now entering the bedroom. Keep watching to find more. A big deal right now. Recently, the Foundation for Responsible Robotics released a report looking at the development of female robots over the next 5 to 10 years. According to Noel Sharkey, Emeritus Professor of Robotics and Artificial Intelligence at the University of Sheffield and co-founder of the FRR, we need to start taking their rise seriously. People snigger about them, but they, the companies, are actually shipping quite a lot, and we're going to see them a lot more, Mr. Sharkey said at the launch of the new report. Modern robot dolls have evolved out of their blow-up counterparts into robots with a silicon skin that is warm to the touch, with deliberately human-like responses achieved by artificial intelligence. The user can also customize their robot to suit their persuasions, choosing everything from the robot's eye color to its fingernail type or color. Rise of the bots Technology e-commerce companies are delivering connected products to people quarantined at home with more free time on their hands, whether alone, remote, or craving more fun with others. Social distancing rules allowing, of course. As health technology also gains acceptance, there's nothing wrong with a bit of X-rated or soft or hardware entering our private lives. Yes, 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 we all know that this topic sells, but did you know how much it sells? The global toy market for such is worth a whopping $30 billion as of 2020, and is predicted to swell to $56.58 billion US by 2027. While the Asia-Pacific region is expected to witness the fastest growth rate over the next few years, toy sales have recently doubled everywhere from Colombia to Denmark. Those sales are mostly online, owing to the stigma attached in buying products openly. As more and more humans seek out robot dolls and mechanical companions, some find that robots can take the edge off the loneliness and social stress of a pandemic. A shocking pre-pandemic report published by futurologist Dr. Ian Pearson tried to convince us that, by 2050, the world will be full of androids, that most of us will be having relationships with robots, and that virtual reality will overtake human-to-human -human connection. While VR has not been a great success, the robot business is banging, with offerings becoming more diverse thanks to the internet and virtual reality, digital platforms and hookup apps, artificial intelligence and advances in 3D printing. In the perpetual quest for Atlas projects, we're inundated with innovations in the field of such tech, human interaction, loneliness and health. Here are just some of the futuristic things out there that are currently tickling your fancy and stimulating more than conversations around ethics. The Joy of Smart Robots Now featuring everything from built-in heaters to sensors that react to your touch, hyper-realistic bots are becoming more than simply smart robot dolls. An android copy of a 20-something Japanese woman, Geminoid F, is considered the world's best robot. The hyper-realistic Harmony is essentially an AI chatbot trapped inside a life-size Barbie. Real Doll has a customizable personality with spatial awareness and facial recognition and True Companion's Roxy talks and responds to touch. Robert Hines is the founder of True Companion. He says that Roxy also provides social interaction and engagement. It's customizing technology as a supplement, not to replace a real partner. In Barcelona, you can even savor the world's first hyper-realistic doll escorts for 100 euros an hour. We can thank Japan for paving the way by opening up its first doll escort service back in 2004. With varying degrees of realism, responsiveness and functionality, these dolls open up Pandora's box of psychology and science, and could have the potential to go a bit Westworld. Smart Women Make Smart Toys In an industry traditionally dominated by men, thankfully more women are starting to make such innovative toys. Liz Klinger is co-founder and CEO of Lioness, a smart vibrational device and app brand that uses AI. In 2020, she launched a research platform where users can participate in medical or scientific studies, as well as ask those questions we all have about full contact. The Lioness site also provides many no-nonsense guides and hopes to release a remote control distance feature soon. Open Source Hacks They've been around for over 100 years, but the digital revolution in 3D printing has made such toys more affordable and adaptable. 
Comingle encourages weird and wonderful hacks for techno exploration. Its programmable vibrator, the mod, also works as a platform as DIYers are encouraged to join the dots between the real and on-screen world and share patterns in an online library. Also, combining 3D printing, open source technology, and a hacker mentality are feminist Catalan collective Gynapunks. Their DIY biolab helps socially disadvantaged women and workers embrace the notion of a healthy physical life by creating an arsenal of gynecological diagnosis tools. Meanwhile, the Toy Collective offers free online blueprints to safely and privately print toys at home. If you mold it, they will come. Pass the remote. Welcome to the world of teledildonics, wireless technology which allows a person to stimulate their partner remotely. Fundaware is vibrating innerwear that connects to a smartphone app for long distance exciting times. Vibes is a Bluetooth controlled vibrational app. Oh My Bod comes with a headphone jack and pulses to a beat. And let's not forget Love Pals, Hera, and Zeus. Love Pals is Wi Fi enabled and equipped with sensors. The future is non binary. Designed in Brooklyn, New York, Wildflower NB is a genderless object that's named after the acronym NB, short for non binary. The company invites you to write your own exciting script, avoiding the prescriptiveness of more familiar toy designs. Celebrating Overall Positivity In San Francisco, the superbly named Ars Electronica also promotes activism and tech literacy through an annual conference that questions the impact of physical contact on technological innovation and its adoption. In the past, they have sparked debate on robots and using them for such work the value of emotional labor to a chatbot, and how to create toys for those with disabilities, all the way to educational games for kids, to products for the aging. Johannes Grenzfurtner, the Austrian artist and activist behind Ars, believes that it is the need for full contact itself that is behind the spread of high-speed broadband internet. Out of the loop. As the ever-resourceful industry enters the future, giving minority or marginalized groups control, as well as reducing loneliness in those who feel a void in their private lives, some are concerned that technology takes humans out of the loop of contact and relationships. Robot ethicist Dr. Kathleen Richardson and Dr. Eric Brilling set up the Campaign Against Such Robots to raise questions about the effects of artificial intelligence and techno-fixes for social problems on real lives. They worry that humanoid robots add to the growing trend of greater isolation and lack of human contact. Kathleen stresses, We've created a society where we think we can live alone and that it's shameful to feel lonely. Clearly, a lot of people are reflecting on what the future of love and relationships might look like, while others are doing very critical work in area of issues around technology and physical contact. As taboos decrease, will some people buy bots instead of connecting with real people? Yes, they are coming. However, the answer is not to necessarily ban the bot, but to destigmatize loneliness and keep human feelings, values, and responses at the top of our priority tree. But we're interested in hearing more. Is the idea of more technology in your life a positive or negative thing? Do you think as people discover the joy of bots, they will become a replacement for real life interaction? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to enjoy yourselves. That's all for this video, folks. See you another time.